Hollow Scream has laid out their game plan for the Orlando event. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, on their actual website under the Haunt and Thrill section, they actually gave us clues to everything that's going to be at this year's event but it's up to us to try to figure things out at least before they make the announcements kind of cool thought we would dive into it and try to figure things out together and also for you guys to kind of play along there's a link down in the description box go ahead and click that link while you're watching this video and you can play along as well i think this is kind of cool and I'm gonna probably utilize this a little bit more for the channel in the future. To make this a little easier, we're going to knock out the shows. The shows are probably the easiest to knock out first. So we'll start with number 20. There's a man in the shadows. He hasn't spotted me, but I notice him, especially in those Victorian clothes. Now, obviously, if you look at the icon itself, the picture, it looks like a guy. He's stomping, monster stomp. We've already kind of confirmed this to be coming back. So we're going to head over to our tier maker. Here we go. Uh, we're going to have the monster stomp guy. We're going to put that for shows. Now, if we head back over, number 21 says discovering a large clearing made to hold a crowd. Uh, the stage is set for something beautiful, beautiful and terrifying. This leads me to believe that is a show, but I don't know quite where these shows are or what they are pertaining to uh, besides Monster Stomp, but I don't know if they're going to rework the show they had last year to make it a little bit better of an experience or they're going to do the same thing. Not quite sure on that front. Um, next, we will do rides. I think that's kind of the easiest marker. Now, we have, uh, let's see, the Stings, a little Stingray. I think that's Manta. So number 25 is going to be a ride. They did have Icebreaker just open, and I'm believing that's one of the attractions as far as uh, we have Manta as well. Now the trick of it is, last year they only had Infinity Falls and Mako were open, only because a certain side of SeaWorld was open. That leads me to believe, and this is a big if, big rumor, that they are going to expand the park because there's no way they can fit more houses this year just on that side of SeaWorld. So I think it's going to go bold. It's going to go bigger. It's going to go the entire park. Now, they're only going to have certain rides open. Uh, I believe the shark is Mako. So we're going to put the shark for a ride. Like I said, last year they had Infinity Falls as one of them. Not quite sure if that's still going to be the case this time, but I do think Icebreaker is going to be the one. So Icebreaker, I think, is number 26. The only fitting that they put these together. Um, I think some of the other ones are not as thrown together and as easy. But So next, we'll do the bars. That, I think, is the easiest. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing that this is a clue to Beneath the Ice. Uh, so I'm going to go with number three, which is the weird ice thing. I'm going to go with that as a house. An easier one would be number 12, which discovers strange tracks in the jungle, almost as if they were made by animals. I think that is a clue to last year's house, uh, Deadly or Dead Vines, because it is a picture of vines. I'm going to put that as a house. Uh, we're going to go with Captain's Revenge as one of them. But the trick of it is, is which one is it? <laughs> Could it be number seven? Check out the pool and buffet. Confirmed by my suspicions, this is no vacation. I don't know. But I'm thinking number 11 would be uh, the pirate house because it is... Uh, like a ship wheel so I'm gonna put that as a house now number 13 is about a campsite I'm gonna assume that is a play on the scare zone of last year I think it's deadly ambush which was kind of a campsite I'm thinking that is 
I'm gonna guess number 15 is probably a scare zone as well. Maybe at the front of the park because it's kind of like a ticket booth, maybe? Number 14 is kind of tricky because it is witchcraft. They did have a scare zone last year dedicated around witchcraft. It was Witchcraft Bayou. Not quite sure if that's gonna be a scare zone type of thing back again or it could be a house. Maybe they pull a switcheroo because we know Hollow Scream over in Tampa location, I think it's done this year. It's like gone, gone. So they could have easily moved most of the stuff over to SeaWorld's Orlando's event. That's where we're kind of getting tricky here. So uh, I'm gonna guess number one and number two are probably houses as well. It's bold guess right there. Um, so it leaves us with eight to be decided right here now. So I would need one more house, maybe one more zone. Ooh. I'm going to say, I'm going to put the broken ship as a scare zone. I'm going to put the cruise ship thing as a house. There we go. I'm, I'm going to leave it as that. That is, that is my tier list of guesses right there what do you guys think play along i want to see your tier list so over on twitter you can reach me zombie ct i'm gonna like tweet this out as far as the the uh link to this as far as the uh tier maker so i want to see you guys' response thank you all for tuning in and i will catch you all in the fog peace and love everybody